Hi everyone and welcome back to Tasty Curry Heaven. Today we are going to make these delicious vegetable cutlets. They turned out absolutely delicious, crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. So for the vegetable cutlets, we are going to use the following ingredients. This is finely chopped cabbage, finely chopped beetroot, finely chopped red capsicum, finely chopped green capsicum, chopped onions, crushed peas, chopped beans, finely cut cauliflower, it is grated cauliflower, finely cut carrots, and some coriander leaves. And for the masala, we will use ginger paste, chili paste, garlic paste, lemon juice or lime juice, garam masala, chili powder, turmeric powder, cumin seeds, kasuri methi, and chaat masala. And here I have four boiled and grated potatoes. I'm also going to use one cup of all-purpose flour and one cup of cornstarch to make the slurry and these are my breadcrumbs. All of these ingredients are going to be used. I'm going to go step by step with you. So I'm going to saute the vegetables just a little bit. I'm going to leave them all dante because we will be frying the cutlets later. So put some oil in the karai and add one teaspoon of cumin seeds and let the cumin seeds splatter and then add one teaspoon of ginger paste, one teaspoon of garlic paste one teaspoon of green chili paste let the raw flavors of ginger and garlic disappear. Then chopped green beans. Finely chopped cabbage, about one cup. Grated cauliflower, about one cup. And green capsicum, one cup. Finely chopped red capsicum, one cup. One cup of grated carrots, one cup of crushed green peas, finely chopped onions, and give it a good mix. We will only saute this for around three minutes. Going to add some of the masalas now. One teaspoon of turmeric powder, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of kasuri methi, and one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of chaat masala, one teaspoon of black pepper powder. Also, add some salt to taste and give it a good mix. Now combine all of these ingredients together nicely. Add one tablespoon of lime juice, half a cup of grated beetroot, this will give it a very nice color. Mix all the ingredients and let all the moisture dry up so that we don't have to use a lot of breadcrumbs for the binding. Now taste the salt at this point and then add one cup of chopped coriander leaves. Give it a mix. Just saute this for about 3 minutes. 
Keep it covered for about a minute. Our vegetables are now half cooked. We are going to set them aside and mix them with the grated potatoes and then let the mixture cool down before we make our cutlets. So here are our al dente cooked vegetables. Now we are going to mix them with the grated potatoes, the grated and boiled potatoes. Now combine everything together nicely so that we can make patties out of this later on. But first we will let it cool down. After mixing it thoroughly for about 15 to 20 minutes, our vegetable potato mixture has now cooled down. Add one cup of all-purpose flour to give it a binding and one cup of breadcrumbs. Then mix everything together. Our potato vegetable mixture, it looks really nice with the beetroot color, gives it a really nice color. So we will set it aside and now we will make our slurry. For the slurry, take one cup of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, salt and some water. Add the water little by little so that it doesn't get too watery. I will show you what the consistency should look like. So now our slurry is ready. It has to be of this consistency. Taste the salt and see. The salt is perfect. Now take some oil in your palms and take a handful of our potato vegetable mixture. Now make a patty of any shape of your choice. Could be a round, oval or a heart shaped. And then we will dip this ball into the slurry first and then remove the excess batter. And dip it into our breadcrumbs fully coating it. Then set it aside for frying later on. Another one, we will make a similar patty. And shape it the shape of your choice. Then coat it with some slurry and breadcrumbs and set it aside. Now it is important to cool down this these patties before frying them. So our patties are almost ready coated with breadcrumbs. It is very very important now to cool them down 
and for that we will place these patties in the freezer for about 10 minutes and then fry. In the meantime, I'm going to make another variety of patties. This will be coated with vermicelli. Following the same steps, taking the mixture and making a shape of your desire, dipping it in the slurry and then coating it, this time with vermicelli. The vermicelli gives it a nice and crispy texture. Now we will cool down these patties in the freezer for 10 minutes as well and then they are ready to fry. These patties have been cooled down in the freezer for 10 minutes and now they are ready to fry. So we are going to now use shallow frying. You can use either deep or shallow frying. You will place the patties in the oil one by one, making sure they don't stick to one another. Put it down slowly. And don't turn it for at least a minute. As you can see, these will be very crispy from the outside and soft from the inside. We will allow them to fry for at least 3 minutes while turning them so that they are a nice golden brown color. Now we can remove it. As you can see, it is a beautiful color. These cutlets are delicious to eat with ketchup or chutney. They are crisp on the outside and soft on the inside. Now we are frying our third batch. Don't reduce the heat. Again, we are looking for a golden brown color and frying the cutlets for approximately 3 minutes. So these have been fried and now they have become nice and golden brown. As we can see, just remove them on a paper towel to drain the excess oil. Oh, look at that heart-shaped cutlet. It looks absolutely beautiful. And now we will fry the cutlets that were coated with vermicelli. Placing them into the oil one by one. Vermicelli are roasted savia, but you can use unroasted savia as well. Now give it a turn. One side has been fried nicely, 
and it is crispier because of the vermicelli coating. So our cutlets are now almost ready to be served and enjoyed. We are going to serve them with some tomato ketchup and chutney. They look absolutely beautiful. If you liked this recipe, make sure to try it out and let us know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and like for future recipes just like this. I hope you have a great week. Until next time, get spiced and thrive.